If you saw my last video, we talked about the Arax CM or Kiev 88. And at the end of that video, I promised I'd do a part two to discuss whether this is the best bang for the book 6x6 medium format film camera. So in today's video, I'm going to compare the Arax CM against a TLR camera and a vintage 6x6 folding camera. Hello, Matt here from MrLucker.com. So yes, an exciting video today, three affordable 6x6 cameras and explain which camera may be right for you. Join me and we can take a closer look. Okay, so what if you're just looking for a cheap 6x6 medium format camera, say as your first medium format camera? Is the Kiev 88 the best option? Yes, if you want a modular camera that does everything, meaning it will focus close. You can have interchangeable film back, so you can have one back with colour, one back with black and white. You can get interchangeable finders, so you can have a prism finder, or you can have a waist level finder, as you've got here. You can get interchangeable screens, you've got interchangeable lenses. It's just a very good modular camera. So option one, Kiev 88. If you want something small that fits in the pocket, maybe for travel, where you don't need to critically focus on your subjects, I would highly recommend getting yourself a cheap 6x6 folding camera from eBay, such as this Perkyo 1 this is. I've also got a Perkyo 2. Folding cameras can be cheaper than the Kiev 88 camera, but depending on which camera you get, some cameras have no range finder, so this one has no range finder, and you cannot focus close with these lenses, and it's obviously fixed lens, and once your film is inside, you need to finish the film. There's no modular options. One great thing about folding cameras is they're very, very small, and I would recommend a folding camera over the Kiev for focusing at distant subjects. So if you want, this will take sharper photos than this, from my experience, for distant subjects. If, however, you're looking for something equally cheap to a cheap folding camera, how many times can I say cheap? Also check out some low-priced TLR cameras on eBay. I'm not saying this is the cheapest, there are cheaper versions. These cameras can also be sharper than the Kiev 88. In terms of some of them have really good lenses. So I've got a cheap TLR, not this one, and I still need to do a full review. But that lens is better than the Kiev 88 lenses, and it will give me sharper photos. If you use a TLR camera, you can use clip-on close focus lenses called rolling R's and so that then allows you to do portraits for example the same as you would on a modular Kiev 88 and so that is better than the folding cameras for portraits. The downside is it is fixed lens so if you want to do say wide angle photography you need a modular camera. If you want to do telephoto lens photography you need a modular camera. Not always. But if you're happy with a standard lens and a non-interchangeable back, there's obviously no interchangeable film back on this. Once the film is loaded, you need to finish the film the same as on the, the folding cameras. I would recommend TLR for kind of good fun and normal lens photography, including close-ups, if you get the close-up lenses. Folding cameras for infinity and a small size and a Kiev 88 or something similar for everything else in between if you can't afford a Hasselblad. So first choice Hasselblad for myself for portraits and kind of do everything. Say if you're doing client work, I would get a modular camera. If you just want a small pocket camera for fun, I'd recommend a TLR or a folding camera before getting the RX. If I just fold the folding camera up, you can appreciate the size difference. So if I just turn them around a second, this is a very small folding camera, but it just shows the difference. It's like the same size as the film back, <laughs> more or less. And TLRs can be nice and small too. So again, for travel, I'd get a folding camera first, TLR second, Hasselblad, or Kiev 88 third. So system cameras like a Kiev 88, or in my case, an Arax CM, are really great if you're looking to get something like a Mamiya RB, Mamiya RZ, Hasselblad, obviously, in this example, or even something like a My Rollerflex SL66E. Any of these system cameras where you can use 6x6 or 6x7, they all bring many of the same advantages. I guess my top tip would be, if you're looking to get a folding camera or a TLR, pick your camera based on the lens because they're fixed lens so the lens is more important than the rest of the camera. Uh, often with some of the vintage cameras you could get maybe three price levels where you'll have a, a budget lens, a quite good lens and then a really good lens on the same camera. So for example the Voigtlander Pico 1 has got a Vascar lens, the Voigtlander Pico 2 has got a Coloscopo lens which is better than the Vascar lens especially wide open and then often the top 
folding cameras have say a heli lens such as my fuji gf 670 which is a much more premium camera but it gives you the different price point the same is true with the roller cords and roller flexes you can get cheaper models with cheaper lenses i.e not the best lens or you can pay more and get a better lens for example a 2.8 roller flex best bang for the buck get a folding camera if you want something small get a tlr if you love using one lens one film stock and don't want to pay a huge amount of money and get a system camera if you're shooting 6x6 in this example do definitely check out the later kiev 88 cameras if you're shooting 645 you might want to check out the mamiya 645 if you're shooting 6x7 the rb67 offers better value than the rz67 i have the rz67 Hopefully you found some value in this video. If you did, please hit the like button so the YouTube gods help share my video to more people that are interested in these types of cameras. If you've got any questions, let me know in the comments and I'll definitely get back to you. And if you want to see my Vortland Apoke video, click here. And if you want to see my roller cord video, click here. As always, a massive thank you to my patrons and see you in the next video. Have a great day. Bye.